Hey guys, this uh, video right here is a cautionary tale that I want all men to pay attention to. You know, I usually don't start my videos out with me talking, but I want to emphasize the importance of you guys paying very close attention to this video right here because it is rather disturbing and it might just save your life. So y'all know I'm always keep y'all in the loop. If you know me, y'all know that R&B Wednesdays is for the ladies, and I always make sure all the ladies have a good time. If I ever see women at my bar um, buying drinks by themselves with no man, I normally will offer them extra drinks or offer them discounts on food or free hookah. You know, I just like to make sure everybody's enjoying themselves. So last night, I randomly ran into two females that was at the bar, and um I saw them buying drinks, so I took some shots with them, and it was nothing, nothing too major. Um, wasn't trying to holler at them or anything like that. It's just I seen two two young black women buying drinks on their own, so I added something onto what they had going on. So I um I go back to my section. I'm partying. I consistently walks around my club and text on tables. Um, this is just something that I do. I'm always making sure that my servers are taking care of the people that I brought into my establishment. So I walks around the club, make sure everybody's okay. I wanna go back to the bar, the young ladies still over there. I greet them again. You know, this time I, I, I join into conversation with them. You know, I ask them where they from, they say Carolina. You know, um, I ask what part, you know, cause I, I lived in Carolina for a little bit. Um, So we have small chats and then um, I guess my bartender to give us another round of shots. So we take the shots, boom, I leave. I go back to my section. And then the night comes, we all in there, me and my homeboys, some females, we all just talking loud. We saying we about to go to an app out. So the young ladies are still in there too. So they ask me, they're like, hey, um, isn't that you right there? You know, we got the picture of me inside of the club. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Well, I actually, I always tell people it ain't me because I my mom put that up there. So I'll be like, nah, it ain't me. It ain't me. So anyways, they're like, y'all going somewhere after us? I'm like, yeah, we going to an after hours. So they're like, oh, can we go? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So they're like, all right, we're going to call our Uber. So I'm like, oh, well. We all about the mob down there. Y'all could just rock, jump in with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we always does this. This is not nothing out the normal. This is just me being regular kicking shit. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, they jump in the car. We ride to um, the after hour. It's like 18 minutes away from the club. We get to the after hour. We get some more bottles. We drink and we partying. The girls is mad cool, yo. I ain't trying to holler at them. They ain't, they ain't too much really trying to holler at me. Um, You know... They dancing on each other, being girls. So it gets to around like 5.20, 5.30 a.m. So now I'm like, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So I tell the girls, I'm like, hey, look, y'all gonna um, call an Uber because um, we about to all get up out of here. So they're like, yeah, okay, bet. So when they call an Uber, the Uber like 20 minutes away. So I'm like, well, in like a couple minutes, it's gonna drop down. So we wait like eight more minutes. It ain't really dropped down too much. So at this time, it's like, 5 35 40 or something like that a.m so i'm really burnt like i'm drunk as hell bro like i'm like nigga if i stay here any longer i'm not gonna be able to drive home my crib only like eight minutes up the street so i'm like look y'all can call an uber from my building because i'm not taking them in my building because it's no need you know what i'm saying and i ain't pressed because my building is so secure you know you can't get in can't get on the elevator you can't get in the building you can't do nothing yeah but the thing is is that now they know where you live at bro they could scope it out. They could case it and, and wait for you to come. And the reason why they're asking you if that was you on that uh, picture in that bar is they're trying to see if you're actually the owner, if you're the one with the money. This is what happens when you get caught up in the moment and you drinking and you're not really, really paying attention to what's going on. Now, I know a lot of people want to give people the benefit of the doubt and you don't want to think that people will do certain things, but you have to be very careful about who you're around and who's around you. Always be uh, aware of your surroundings and you have to understand that some people are just out to get you. Just because a woman looks good and she's fine and all this type of stuff, that doesn't mean that she's not rotten and a snake and a thief and everything else up under that. So yeah, definitely not a good idea to, you know, let somebody get in your car, drive you home, know where you live, especially if you're the owner of this bar that you're talking about not a good thing at my building so i'm like y'all can just ride with me to the building and call an uber for me at least i'll be in my parking garage where i can goddamn 
go go on upstairs, go to home. So I um we jump in the whip. So they like, um, take a shot, take a shot. I'm like, nah, I don't want no more liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm lit, I'm toasted. So it's a gas station on the corner. So I stop at the gas station, and grab me a water and a, a slim jim. So and a sprite. I always I always do this. I always have a sprite for the morning because I be feeling mad sick and I don't like ginger ale. So I got them um, stop at the store. So I go in the store, I get that, boom, I get back in the car. So they like, how far is the house from here? So I'm like, it's like three minutes up the street. They're like, all right, bet. They're like, well, um, it's only a little bit left of liquor. We gotta take this last shot. We might not even see you no more, but we appreciate the hospitality and you know, making sure we good, da da da. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Take nah, bad idea. Why are they trying to pressure you to take a drink, bro? The last little sip. Clearly, you're already drunk. They know this. You've already expressed that. You got to be more aware. But see, when you drink and you're drunk, you know, your inhibitions are just out the window. You're not really focused. You're not really paying attention. And you should never accept any kind of open drink from anyone, anywhere, at any time. Take the drink. I drive home. I made it to the, my house. That's the last thing I remember, y'all. I woke up at, I think, like 1230 this morning, afternoon. These girls done took both my Cubans. It's like 60K. Took four of my gold diamond rings, my pistol, and a couple thousand out of my pocket. You lucky they didn't take your life, bro. You had no idea what was going on. You're lucky they didn't take your life. I've seen videos of this same type of, type of circumstance where the guy is gone because he made a stupid decision. That's just stupid. And see, a lot of times, you know, men, you know, we do have egos and stuff like that, and women do too, but we get caught up in the moment and we're showing out and we're having fun and we're trying to impress these women and all of that, and we're just not paying attention to what, you know, what time it is, what's really going on. I don't even remember what the fuck happened, yo. But now, I came to the hospital, and they're giving me IVs and all type of stuff to uh, flush out my system from the drugs that was inside of me. Um, wow. I threw up a lot. I guess whatever it was was eating the lining of my stomach, so a lot of blood came up with the throw up. Definitely doodle boy, definitely diarrhea, and um, just a real, real bad headache. So, uh, I say that to say, I would never in a million years would have thought that that would have happened to me, for real, right? Never. And the drug that they gave me, if they would have gave me too much of it, I would have OD on it. You know what I'm saying? I could have OD and. Um, these girls are stupid. Just dumb because they stupid ass actually use their debit card in my club. They use their debit card in the club, so I have the transactions. And I'm able to pull your name and everything from the bank or your information. Then y'all call the Uber to my club. We got you on surveillance getting out of the Uber, so I get the license plate from the car. They also took an Uber from where we was at. They got cameras. So the detective, the police got to get that information because I can't get that. But from my restaurant, I got you, bro. Like, And I say that to say, like, I really don't care what happened to y'all. But I know one thing. Y'all ass going to jail. Y'all niggas could have took me away from my motherfucking kids. For real. My son would have had to deal with watching his dad on Google or something saying his dad overdosed. You know what I'm saying? Like, But you can't be stupid either, bro. Yeah, they were stupid and irresponsible and they drove the Uber and they're on camera and all that, but you were just as stupid, man, because you were probably trying to show out and floss. You know, show and prove. You made a lot of decisions and thank God that you're still here and your son doesn't have to see that on Google or see you on the news. You have to be smart. You don't need to be trying to impress people. And if you're going to be drinking and all that and doing drugs, whatever you decide that you're going to do, you got to be, you know, you have to make sure that you have people around you that you could trust.
You don't even know these women, bro. And you're letting them in your car. You're letting them in the parking spot where you're at. You know, you, you let them know where you're leave, where you're going after um, the bar. I mean, something could have just, just as easily happened on the way to that new spot that you went to. She could have gave, you know, one of her people's, you know, the, the location or anything and rolled up on you, took your car, robbed you on the street, anything. It's not worth it to be out there trying to just show off and trying to impress women. And I know that's what you was trying to do. You know, you call it, this is what we do. Yeah, this is what you do, but it's dangerous, bro. This is what we do. We have fun and this is what, and you're dangerous. And those women might've actually been in there before and saw you do that very simple thing and said, you know what? This dude right here is an easy mark. We already know he's the owner. We're just gonna ask him that just to confirm it. Come on, bro. You gotta be smarter than that. Maybe she's gotta be more careful more aware and i'm i'm always aware but this time right here changes everything because i really don't remember nothing like i don't remember anything after that but for them to be able to get my chains off of me is crazy but all that could be could be uh got back i got insurance I'm just happy that i'm still here i got another day to see my kids because that's really all that be mattering man, to me but be easy carolina girl gabby we gonna find you yeah i mean you know, you really have to be smart. And this goes for women too. You have to be smart and don't put yourself in situations like that because you're just trying to have fun. You're just trying to show out or whatever the case may be. This could have ended a lot differently. And for what? For a moment of pleasure, a moment of partying. And it's crazy that he said, I wake up the next morning and I'm like super sick. I'm not really a drinker myself and I've never really understood that whole concept of drinking so much and all that. Cause you do feel like crap the next day, unless you're like a serial alcoholic. And I think they actually become like immune to that type of thing that they don't even get hangovers and all of that. But you know, alcohol has never been alluring to me as a person. And I know some people like it and that's, that's good if that's your choice, but you know, you have to be smart. I've, like I said, I've seen so many videos like this before where the guy is no longer here. I've seen one before where this same type of situation happened, but the guy wasn't the owner at the club. He met these two women at the club, went back to his spot, and he was this guy that had a lot of money, black guy, went back to his spot. They drugged him, took all his stuff. He passed out, and he woke up right when they were running down the hall of the uh, complex that he was in. He chased him all the way to the door, and he's like butt naked. He chases him all the way to the door. He opens the door, and you can see him pointing like what, probably saying, what did you do to me and this and that. He takes two step back, back, he falls down, and he passes away. Because whatever drug they gave him, they gave him too much. That could have easily happened to this guy right here. So, guys, please, please, please be safe, and don't try to, you know, showboat all the time. Don't advertise what you got. If you want to wear jewelry and you want to have a flashy car and all that, understand that there is a lot of attention that you're going to get. You become an easy mark. It's like you have a bullseye on your back, especially for people that are out there looking to do evil things. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this video. I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. So make sure you leave a comment, like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, make sure to show me some love over there and give me a follow. I definitely would appreciate it. And with that said, I'm out and I will see you on the next video. Peace. May the force be with you.